all right good morning and welcome back to another vlog here on coaster crazy youtube channel yes we're back at dreamland in margate we haven't been here in about four years which i think it's about four years um yeah i think the last time we came here was when we was with martin and charlotte we ended up having a backstage tour of the scenic railway and you know we were given quite a bit and we ended up doing a mini road trip and then obviously covid came and the parks had a lot of problems and stuff like that now uh, richard caddles actually brought in his rides that travel or used to travel with carters so you've got the old ghost train you've got the whirl around you've got all sorts of stuff right today we've come for a special event it's a one-off event where dogs are allowed so yeah uh, it's free a free to enter and you just pay for the rides Morning. Morning, you're right. So yeah, this is the the car park there. It was quite expensive, nine pound fifty for fifteen hours, which I don't think is too bad, I suppose. But yeah, we've been here quite a few times now, and um, once I knew they were reopening really for this season, I messaged a couple of people that I know work here, saying about dogs. I ended up emailing the actual park themselves, and they said no, nope, dogs are not allowed. But you can come to this event so yeah there's like loads of dogs everywhere look there's like two behind me there so if you don't like dogs you won't be liking this event today <laughs> um, fortunately dogs aren't allowed on the rides they can't go inside any of the buildings oh look at this over here lisa so we've never actually done anything like this with tilly before so look at her she's she's loving it and and just to let you know, Lisa, the, needs to, she needs to be on a short lead. We might get told off, all dogs need to be on a short lead. But we don't actually have a short lead for her, so we just have to lock. Oh, look at her. She's like, yeah, I've got my fans. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it, Tilly? <laughs> That's the <it, laughs> excitement. Yeah. She does the tippy-tap on her front paws. Hello. <laughs> Oh, oh this is nice. See, this is why dogs should be allowed in theme parks because you get the interaction like this. It's great. Look at this. Um, oh, Newfoundland over here. This is just us got to be walking around looking at dogs all day not, and not going on rides. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Are we all right to yeah. fuss? Yeah, let me get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Hello. How do I start? Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, hello, what is it, Tilly? Hello. 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 Beautiful. Oh. Hello. Oh my god, he's massive. He's like a horse. He's only little. He's only a puppy. Oh, really? He'll grow a bit more, yeah. How old? He's, he's 17 months. Oh my god, 17 months. He's got about five, what, about six, seven months more. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, he's in the water. Beautiful dog. Yeah, we'd love something like that, something a bit bigger but we ended up getting her instead <laughs> so yeah this is welcome to uh, dreamland margate um very random like this is i think this is the first time anything is like like this has been vlogs on youtube before well because not everyone has dogs before um and, and and goes to theme parks like we do and i mean this is this is this would be it all day stopping and sniffing and saying hello and yeah they do some really good events here they've actually got um Oh god, who is it? Oh, Queens of the Stone Age. They got Queens of the Stone Age playing in a, in a few weeks. I went round to uh, to book me tickets to go and you know they sold out straight away. They got placebo playing soon. So it's basically more of a, a concert venue now than an amusement park. I, know, I mean, I know most of the staff that work here because most of the rides that are here um, are from. Carters, like I said, used to travel with Carters. You do have a brand new roller coaster that used to be at Black Gang China as well. It's brilliant. There's just dogs everywhere. So this event, I think it's only just started. It's like 10, 11 o'clock, I think. But the park opened at half 10 and the actual event didn't start till 11. But there's, um, we'll, have a look, we'll have a walk around because it's meant to be like vendors. There's a uh, dog training. Uh, oh, she wants a new harness for, for Tilly. Uh, there's what else did I say was it? Um, photography, for dogs, dog photography. <laughs> Hello. Oh. oh, I love him. Hello. 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 Yeah, she has it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, oh, okay. If he pulls, he has oh. 
So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't actually think, I don't know if it's got to be a busy day today. Um, I know a few people that have been. I have wanted to revisit Dreamland for a while now. Um, it's just the fact that they don't, I mean, it's a free to enter. I mean, how can they not allow dogs to walk in? It's, I don't know I, know, I know I'm going on a bit and there'll be people going, oh, well, there's people that don't like dogs and things like that. But if it's a free to enter park, dogs should be allowed in the park you know we're, we're all responsible dog owners Lisa <laughs> oh. <laughs> another cavapoo or a cockapoo we're all the same <laughs> uh, so yeah ride wise here's a uh, famous whirl around and the ghost train that used to be at Carter's yeah, man. Hello. How are you? Yeah, very good. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Not at Carter's. <laughs> so this is one of the lads that used to work. Well, he, he just still does yeah, the ghost train in the world around with Tom. Is Tom is Tom here? Tom yeah. Perry. Yeah, yeah. Tom's here. Dan's here. Yeah. Uh, Lewis is here. Dogs are here. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, dogs are not allowed on the rides. But yeah, you got the awesome. Uh, ghost train here as well one of my, one of my favorite ghost trains of this type anyway hey, right. yeah ghost train again I I haven't been on this one for a long time because like because like I say it used to travel with a car a steam fur and it was actually on its route on route to a fair I think it was Litchfield and it actually fell off a wagon, so they had to re- Oh wow, look at it round here, Lisa. There's a dog agility. Uh, so yeah, like I said, there's a free to enter. There is, yeah, dog waste bin. There is a uh, fake grass. You've got the scenic railway. They've got the uh, Ferris wheel back open again. Yeah, let's look at the stall. Oh my, there's loads, loads of stalls. I didn't think all of this would be here, to be honest. So there's dog agility. Um, this is great. Oh god, this is awesome. Yeah, dog agility. That's an upcharge. Uh, there's dog photography somewhere. It's up there, is it? Right at the top. Oh, beautiful here, isn't it? It's great. I'm just saying, dogs should be allowed all the time. Yeah. It's a free to enter park, you know. Yeah. Get it sorted, Dreamland. Look how popular it is here with the people with dogs, you know. So yeah, and they've got rides, they've got, this is be beautiful. We've not been here for a few years now and it's such a great park. I've been, we've been quite a lot. And when it, when it actually reopened with the new rides and the scenic rebuilt and stuff, we were one of the first people to come and, and see it all. And then it, we came again and they changed again and then they came again and it changed again. Like every time we've been here, it's been completely different. Oh, oh she been, all oh, right. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Brilliant, isn't it, this? <laughs> oh, we couldn't miss out, especially with it was Lisa's birthday yesterday as well. So you got all, like, the uh, stalls, uh, Hyro and Wolf. Selling all sorts of kinds of leads, and these are quite cute. All these different leads. Hi, there. Hi uh, It's a lot of handmade stuff as well. Got bandanas, collars. Oh, it's really cool, this. And again, not just Dreamland that should allow dogs as well. This is like, like I said, it's a one-off. It's a one-off event. I might have encouraged them to do this event, or they must have planned it anyway. And then they just, when I emailed them, they just said, "Oh, come to this event." Alton Towers could do something like this. So oh, every park, every park should do something like this. At least three times a, a year. I don't know, or all the time. See anything you like? Oh, some harnesses here. It's Barbie. Yeah, I think it's a Barbie. Oh, yeah, Barky. <laughs> They're quite cute. No. Rabbit's ears. Anyone want a chicken foot? <laughs> chicken feet. Oh, this is brilliant in here. I didn't even stop recording yet. So, yeah, all sorts of different brands in here. Yeah, awesome. Should we have a good day today? Alright, so you got me mate uh, Lewis there running the waltzer. So uh, yeah, there's token machines here. They've got all these here now. So you can get, get, get like a card and... I think so. Anyway, right, we ride tokens. They're like little coins that you get. So 
so not too bad. And there's still people here without a dog, so it didn't make a it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> and someone, you know, there's, there's plenty of places for dogs to go. You got the nice dodgems there. I think the Hall of Mirrors is back. Oh, me mate Dan's over there. But what a beautiful park it is. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan, see me. All right, Dan. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> It's one of the new attractions for this year is the um, Crazy Golf. This looks great. Uh, this looks brilliant. Really, really cool. I mean, yeah, they used to be, there's Dan. We'll come over in a bit. <laughs> they used to have the um, Zamperla spinning mouse over at the back over there, but that was sold and went to Flamingo Park in Hastings. Uh, you got the co new coaster that they've bought, um, which is here. Uh, rock and Roller used to be a Black Gang Chine as Cliffhanger. And then you've got a few rides down the back. Oh, I, I, I absolutely love it here. Oh, there's a bit of grass over here, which, yeah. We just want to make sure Tilly's gone to the toilet. Uh, we don't want her messing on the, in the pathways and near the rides and stuff. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'll go, and, I'll go and speak to Dan while she's, yeah. There's a bit of grass over, real grass that is, over there. But yeah, it's a really nice park, and you wouldn't think you were in Margate. All right, buddy. You all right? All right. Oh, good, mate. I've seen you for God knows how many years. Yeah, Carter's days. Like Carter's? What was it, about four or five years? Yeah, four years? Going, I think Wickham. West Wickham, was it? West Wickham, yeah. When you're on the little train that I worked on. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? That's not a train ride, is it? Yeah, it's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. What, what, what they've done at the park already looks amazing. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I, well, what, are you okay, hon? Oh, yeah. yeah, all the little puns and stuff. But yeah, nice to see all the dogs in there, isn't it? They should do it. Should do it all the time, shouldn't they? Yeah, I think it's just a uh, this is a sort of trial sort a of trial thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, see how it go. Well, it's work because it's really busy. Oh, yeah, Park's only open five minutes ago. Maybe a nice day. Yeah, nice day <laughs> with my dog <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> oh, they're all over there now. This just it's brilliant. There's just dogs everywhere. I love it. This. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, Dreamland went through a few changes. Like I said, there used to be a coaster over there. Someone actually lived and their apartments complained because the coaster is right next to it so they, it, it actually it actually has made the park a lot smaller than it used to be because it used to go all the way back there there was uh, loads of flat rides around here which were obviously sold off you still got the drop tower that's not in operation anymore well at least i don't think it is um well at least the scenic's still here did she go uh she's not interested Just yeah yeah Oh, <laughs> right. We'll walk around the other side where the bees are. Go back into the main area. I'll get a, I'll get a wristband. I will be going on a load of rides here. Um, definitely do the scenic, but I think that's an upcharge. So most of these rides around here uh, are run by Richard Cadell and his team, uh, and then like the scenic and a few of the other rides are run by Dreamland themselves. Um, but yeah, this place really needs uh, a major investor to come and take over this whole park because we, we, we love it here, we've, we've been a few times now. The landscaping is really nice and what they've did with it, like the events that they put on, like I said, I wanted to come and see Queens of the Stone Age, I think it's on the 20, 22nd of May I think it is, Queens of the Stone Age, um, sold out, sold out, so yeah, <laughs> loads of events on. Um, but here's the new coaster. My mate Ben's working on it. Well, they're working on getting it working, I think. But yeah, this was at Black Gang Chine. There's Cliffhanger, so I've already got the cred. There's Richard Caddle up there. Richard Caddle from the Sutty Show. Lisa. I'll go and tell Lisa. I don't know if Lisa watched the Sutty show or not, but Richard Caddle's up there. Yeah, it's quite warm. We were just saying Tilly probably won't, won't hack it all day because it's quite warm today. So I'll get, a, I'll, I'll get myself a wristband. 
go on a couple of rides and then even we've walked down on the beach and then come back later you got the uh, supersonic jets here or the hurricane jets it's really nice what they've done you know added the rides in here nice to see the ferris wheel back open as well but yeah dreamland drop that's i don't think they've ever got to operate that again really sad what well, they could do is sell it to be honest if they're not going to operate it again oh well, yeah it's really nice here I do like it, I really do. I think it's an amazing place. It's just a shame about the history that it's had, you know, not, not a bit of a rocky, uh, rocky start to its operational life for the past few years. Uh, yeah, please, we'll get a drink. Get a drink, they've got slushies and stuff here as well. And your ice creams and your donuts. But yeah, look how busy it is. It's brilliant, so hopefully, hopefully this does really well for the park. Uh, allowing the dogs in. Um, it's, like I said, it's a trial run thing. Like I, I messaged him and, 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 and asked Richard Caddle as well, and everyone was basically saying no, dogs are not allowed. So they might. I said well, we'll try a, like a, a trial run of the dogs allowed. So I don't know. See how it goes. Oh, I'm loving this event. I mean, I've not even been on any ranch yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go over and get a wristband. Like I said. We won't be here all day. I mean, it is on to like six o'clock, I think, tonight. Um, but it, I think it might be a bit too hot for Tilly just to sit around, wait for me to go on rides all day. Do have a really nice beach over there. And from tomorrow, the 1st of May, dogs are not allowed on the beach until September. So yeah, it's a perfect day for it. Just before the cut off for dogs being allowed on the beach, um, well, at certain times, but yeah, there's literally dogs everywhere. This is great. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. That is brilliant. It's so good. Especially the amount of places and fairs and stuff that we go to that people don't take dogs to that are allowed there. So you get your ride tokens from here. Oh, look at the little dash on. <laughs> so yeah, ride tokens. I don't really know how it works, to be honest. I don't know if you get a wristband or just get the ride tokens, but I'm pretty sure that the scenic's separate and it's a five pound up charge. Pretty sure of it, I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah, so I've got myself some tokens. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, yeah, nice to see Tom in there. He used to work at the Carter Steam Fairs. And he actually, I don't know if he owns a couple of the rides. <laughs> There's Harley. <laughs> I think he, I'm not sure if he owns a couple of rides or just works with Richard Cannell because they've just noticed they've got the Hall of Mirrors here as well. So yeah, I've got myself 10 tokens. Apparently the Scenic Ra Railway isn't an extra upcharge now. It's two tokens. The Ferris wheel was an upcharge as well. That's now just one token. Every ride is one token. So if you get your 20 tokens for 40 pound, um, yeah, it's 20 rides you can go on for 40 quid. I don't think that's bad at all, to be honest. Yeah, they got the massive Ferris wheel here. This is one token as well. These are quite nice tokens, actually. Does it say Dreamland on them? No, I don't think it does. They're just regular tokens. We got the uh, mirror maze. Well, I'd say it was a mirror maze. It's not, is it? It's a whole of mirror. Oh, watch her. She's naughty. And she doesn't like being on camera either, just like her dad. You alright, Harley? I'll turn you around. I'll turn you around. You alright? Yeah. Nice to see you again. I'm filming me now, filming me. <laughs> I'll keep turning it. But her dad's running the roller coaster. But yeah, nice to see you, Harley. <laughs> Don't squirt in water again. Quick, run away. <laughs> right, I get myself on the scenic. Beautiful park, yeah, I just said to Tom as well, it's not like a, a park manager. I said, I don't understand why uh, Richard Cannell doesn't actually buy the park and run it himself. It, there's a lot of work to take place, like with Dreamland themselves, they, they look after all the landscaping, they look after the, um, the scenic, which is like a full train. But yeah, as I did say before, the dog thing is a trial run. There's been so many people, including myself, email in the park saying it should be a dog friendly park so this is why they're doing this event today it's it's a preview it's uh 
you know the test in the waters i just wish more parks would do it like you know what i mean there's not you just got to be responsible you know what i mean you're a responsible dog owner and you'd be completely fine <laughs> here comes the scenic and right on ride povs are allowed here as well so you got the um there's another coaster up so there's three coasters here if you've never oh yeah all right you bloody hell i didn't know you is here as well there's literally everyone from carters are here yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, dude. Yes, Not seen you since the last October, ever Carters. Yeah. yeah, last year, October. Oh my God, everyone's here. <laughs> Maybe I should get a job here as well. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Right, so I get myself on the scenic. I don't know who's running this one. I don't know if there's any more Carters employees, but yeah, it's it's changed so much um, over the years. Is that a toilet that's now closed? Yeah, toilets closed. Um, it's changed so much. Like when we first came, none of this um, landscaping was here, and then they sort of rebuilt that this section of the park. And it's it feels a lot bigger than it is when you're in here. So yeah, I wish the I wish the park the best of luck in the future. I hope that Richard and the team does really well with it. Is this a new map or an old map? Uh, oh yeah, this is a new map, so they've got the new map as well, yeah, rock and roll is up the top. So yeah, all that you see at the top there, that was the park as well. So you can pay for the scenic here as well by the looks of it, card only. Yeah, £5 each, but it's not, you can use two tokens apparently. Oh, hey, they got the other coaster running. All right, so the classic 1920 scenic railway is the oldest roller coaster in the UK. Still uses the brake man. You saw I went to Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach a few weeks ago. The uh, roller coaster there also uses a brake man, but this is much nicer. <laughs> this is really, really nice. Completely rebuilt a few years, I say a few years ago. I don't even know, was it 2015, five years ago or something like that? Wasn't that long after I started the channel really. Um, and yeah, completely rebuilt the whole coaster. Time to send it on the 1920 Scenic Railway on the front row. <laughs> this is possibly one of the smoothest coasters in the whole entire country. Or in the UK, in fact. Yeah, see just sits on the rail it's like got these bogies underneath got the uh, cable lift hill it catches underneath here pulls it up Here we go, double drop. Ah, oh, the car park's busy. Yeah, busy day today. Really popular with the dogs. So 
these are magnetic brakes down here to slow it down if it's going too quick. And obviously your brake man. <laughs> oh, Ben's not, Ben's not uh, noticed me. Yeah, the park's busy. It's a bank holiday weekend as well, so yeah, it should be all busy tomorrow. Here we go again. Yeah, so the ride actually features the original lift hill motor. We saw that when we came last time. Like four years ago, we, we were given a backstage uh, behind the scenes tour of the scenic railway. Really amazing, I oh, love this. It could do with spraying down a bit. I mean, it's, it's not looking great here. POVs are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Steepest drop. Wow. Love it. Yeah, it's not the most fat, it's not the fastest and the most thrilling coaster ever, but it's just the history of it. 1920. One of the oldest coasts in the world. Wow, and it's so smooth. Well, yeah, you do have to wear a seat belt. <laughs> and a little lap bar as well. Loved it, absolutely loved it. And it was only two tokens. Each token is three pounds, so six pound a ride. Um, but as it was an, in, when it was an individual ride, it was a fiver, I think, so no, it's all right, I suppose. Yeah, brilliant. Loved it. Oh, it's such a classic. I love that. And I know so many people that have never been to this park before. Um, please, if you like what you see here at this park, um, please come and check it out. Come and give it a visit. It's, it's such a nice park. Yeah, look, it was, should be £4 each. Um, sorry, five pound each per ride, but if you usually get your tokens, it's only two tokens for the ride, which isn't too bad at all. Unfortunately, dogs are not allowed on there today. Yeah, another new ride that uh, that they bought is this little train here. This is really cute as well. Big thanks to a couple of mates for sending me pictures when they were building these rides. Although I'm not sure they were supposed to be sending me pictures, but never mind. It's all free publicity at the end of the day. Yeah, the scenic railway is brilliant. Really, really good, really smooth. Um, it's not the most thrilling coasters out there, but it's it's really, really good. Right, going over to ride there. New ride for this year, or one of the new rides for this year. Rock and Roller, which I've already done before. Like I said, it was at Black Gang Chine as Cliffhanger. It's a little... Uh, in fact, we're going to have to check the RCDB. It could be numerous things. It could be IE I Park or um, who else made them? Pim Fari made them as well, I think. It's a mighty mini mega coaster. Right, here we go, rock and roller. <laughs> Yeah, this is looking great now. Completely repainted all the track. They didn't bother with the uh, cars. Yeah, I... <laughs> IE Park, this one. Look at all the space that they had. Look at it all. This is all Dreamland round here. Woo! Oh, it's super smooth. Magnetic brake. Yeah, it's great to see the park back open again. It really is. This coaster looks great. It's running brilliant, that. 
Do you get to test it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shammy sod, Ben. <laughs> Worked with him as well when I, when I did Carter Steam Fair. He was on the chair playing with me. It's brilliant, this. I'm loving this park now. You've got the banging tunes on. Yeah, all this space down here was uh, is part of Dreamland. The, there was a play park at the end over there. I'm not sure, I don't think they had any rides around here. They had rides here, there was a, quite a few rides that they had from San Perla. Woo! Ten in fact, they had ten rides here. Coaster rose over there. Right. <laughs> Here's your new uh, crazy golf down here as well. I think the park's looking brilliant. So sad what happened when they had to sell all the rides off, but never mind, it's one of those, isn't it? Awesome. <laughs> My mate Ben, come and say hello. Yeah, the park's looking great. Really, really fresh, really clean and tidy. Loving the fact that the dogs are here and the new coaster which is awesome yeah super smooth really 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 good i like that much better here than it was at black gang chan yeah you got the views when it was on the isle of Wight, but it's much better here i might go and see my friend dan now i'm going the uh the, the mirror maze one token yeah there you go dude nice to see you yeah i will do get it get it in quick he loves it Let's go in the uh, mirror maze quickly. Remember they used this for the, um, when they did the Dreamland, um, what do you call it, the Halloween event that they did here, Screamland, which was amazing. Again, it's such a shame that the parks had so many problems over the past few years. Um, the Halloween event, Screamland, was like, like one of the best in the UK when we came and did it. It was a really good. This was a scare maze. They had like a guy dressed up in a bunny costume. I think it's quite a simple one actually. I don't think you can get lost in this one. <laughs> so he so he says. So he says. I don't know where I'm going. This way. Oh, that's not a mirror. That is. Yeah. So like I said, I'm I'm, I'm really. You know, looking forward to what the future's like for this park. Can't see them doing any more major investments really. Um, maybe just get the drop tower open. I don't think they could, oh that's an end, exit. <laughs> I don't think they could add anything major here now, actually unfortunately. They've got steel coast, there you go, that was it, dead easy. <laughs> yeah, dead easy. Uh, there's another stall here, it looks like they're selling like um, raw stuff and stuff that's uh, naturally good for the dogs. So I'll have a quick look around here. Um, there is like food vans and stuff here. I mean you've probably clicked on this video thinking there'd be like loads of rides and POVs and stuff. I've only been on two rides, or well, three, if you include the mirror maze. I'll do the ghost train in a minute, but like I said, we're not here long anyway. Uh, we'll take the Tilly for a walk on the beach um, in a minute and then we can pop back in here. But the thing is, dogs are not allowed to go inside the building, so we can't physically walk right through the park anymore. We're going to have to walk round past the, uh, the car park. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cocker Spaniel puppy. All the dogs all, all queuing up here to do the agility de test. It's really, really good. There's just dogs everywhere. Oh, antlers. Oh, she loves antlers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get her a an new antler, yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, this event is great. This event is great. I just literally bumped into Richard Cannell and he's like, I know who you are, you're coaster crazy. And I'm like, 
No, you don't know who I am. It's like, I do, I watch your vlogs. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Richard Cadell from the Sutty Show watches my vlogs. I said, well, I tell you what, Richard, I grew up watching the Sutty Show. Uh, obviously, when Matthew Corbett used to do it. It's really good here. I hope the park and most parks see this vlog and see how popular the, the park is with the amount of people that are here with dogs and not just dogs, just families coming out for a nice day out. Um, and I said before a few times actually in the vlog already, uh, I wish the future, the, the best of luck to Richard and the team here. I hope they do really well with the park because it really needs its identity back. It's just struggled so many so many times in the past sort of few years of opening up and then closing and then obviously Covid came along and then it was closed for like two years I think I didn't even think they have the rides open for a couple of years and now yeah so he's bought the coaster which is awesome and yeah he's running the park a lot better he just has the influence of knowing what he's doing as a true showman is Richard Cadell I love it here it's so good and what they've done is brilliant like it's brilliant it's so busy here the atmosphere is great it's a nice day and then we're here with my two loves uh, i did i did say two loves one of them's down here she's she been yet no she's not she's not going come on you need a number two you need a number two so this top section here, you got the secret garden. There's like some old animal cages. They used to have lions back here, back in the day. You know, like this folly and the walled garden. It's really pretty up this top end. And you just got the classic ride through the trees there. Again, I can't stress enough. If you've never been to this park before, you need to come and check it out especially with the rocky uh, operations and history that it's had in the past few years there's so many people that have you know i get messages all the time oh i'd love to go there oh i really want to go on the scenic railway get yourselves here then there's, there's not much else we could say about it you know obviously if you live up in near blackpool i wouldn't bother because it's like a seven hour drive to get to here from blackpool I think it's around seven hours, it's a long way anyway. So obviously if you do live really far away, you're not going to come here. But if the park's got a rocky um, history and you've never been on the classic scenic railway, if the park ever does close down for good, again, um, then you'll never get on it. So yeah, get yourselves here. All right, so we just come on the uh, the beach now in Margate. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. Dreamland's just sort of there behind me. And uh, yeah, just got to let Tilly have a little run around now. Tilly, <laughs> Yeah, really nice. The fact that uh, we can go on the beach um, with the dog, but from tomorrow we can't. <laughs> It's just odd rules, isn't it? It really is odd. I don't know why that's uh, in place, but it's not just here, it's all over the UK, really, from the 1st of March until sometime in September. Eh? Huh? May. Yeah, May. Oh, so March. Oh, she's off. She's gone. I don't know where she's going. She's in her dog. She's off. Well, we have to be careful now because she might not know where we are. <laughs> oh, well.
out. Oh, I love that ghost train so much. It's actually one of my favourite travelling ghost trains in the UK. That um, even when it was travelled with Carter Steam Fair, I loved it then. And I forgot about. Well, I didn't forget. I knew that he squirted water at the end, but it, it, it just like it wouldn't stop. It just covered me in it. Um, yeah, great atmosphere here. I'm loving this here with the dogs everywhere. It's really, really good to see. It really is. And hopefully the park could change their mind and just let people in with a dog. Like every park should be, to be honest. Um, in my opinion, that is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, something like this would be amazing at Alton Towers. And I know that I'm not the biggest fan of Alton Towers, but I don't understand why they don't allow dogs at Alton Towers. I mean, yeah, I do. It's a theme park and, you know, it's, it's just like the clientele and stuff on it. They don't really want to be in a place where dogs are. But if they did a dog event like this, I think it'd do really well at Alton Towers. It really would. You've got the beautiful gallopers here and there's no... Is there anyone on it? I don't think there's anyone on it. Why is it going around with empty? Oh there, there's one person on the whole ride. Oh, you got some of the little boys stuff here as well. It's like a bit of a competition between the Carters and uh, little boys. I think little boys actually wanted to buy Joby's rides, but he told them no. <laughs> so yeah, it's little boys. Oh my God, look at it. I've got to go on the Ferris wheel. Look at the queue for it. Only one token, three pound a ride. That's a bargain. And you got, and you got the funny mirrors. <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> funny mirrors. Might go around and do the uh, the caterpillar that's round here. Although saying that, I need the toilet again. But no, I'm loving it here. I really am. It's really, really good to see. And again, yeah, free entry as well. You don't have to pay to come in. I just hope that they've made a good profit from today definitely looks like it right here we go the waltzer I've got, I've got my own personal spinner just had a bit of Jason Donovan playing then he just greased the rail up as well he just sprayed some like degreaser on the rail Okay, sit back on tight, here we go. You got me mate Lewis running the ride. Oh, proper classic. Isn't it a fast ride? playing now yeah I've got all the classics here at this classic amusement park yeah I can't stress it off if you've never been here before please come and check it out even if you come down for a weekend you can stay in the area 
where we stayed yesterday in Ramsgate was actually all right. I, I don't even know if I even mentioned that in the vlog. Yeah, I didn't do a room tour or a, a, a travel vlog or any, uh, the hotel was nice. It was called the Albion, Albion House. It was actually really nice, um, but it was very warm in the, in the hotel room last night. Oh, it's just it's covered in rubbish. <laughs> I don't know what's attached to it. Uh, yeah, so we actually stayed in Ramsgate yesterday. It was actually really nice. We went to Broadstairs first, had a walk up the beach. That was really pretty there. Had some uh, chips and curry sauce, and then we got back in the car, went up to uh, Ramsgate where we stayed. Had another walk around Ramsgate. Yeah, it's, it's such a beautiful area of the UK around here. Margate here, then Broadstairs. Ramsgate, uh, Canterbury is quite nice as well. I quite like this area of Kent, it's really nice. There's loads of nice places to go and see. You've got the Hornby Hobbies that I visited, a, a, like a, I don't know, I'd say a few weeks ago, it was ages ago now. That's just up the road. Uh, you've got the RAF um, Museum, you've got the Hurricane and Spitfire Museum. It's really good, I've, we've really enjoyed it today. I mean, I've got a I think I've got a handful of tokens left, but I'll end up, I think I'll end up keeping them. I've got five, yeah, because I got on the, the waltz uh, without, without one of those. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the Ferris wheel and some of the other classic rides here as well. But it's mainly to come to show you what's here if you want to uh, come in the, in, the, uh, in the future. Apparently the, uh, the drop tower might make a return next year. And it's been great just to see the... Uh, all the dogs here, it's amazing, like, really cool, there's loads of stuff here. There's a guy doing caricatures, you all want to do me, it'd be like, it'd be like all buck teeth and no hair and it'd be horrible. It'd make a right mess of my picture. <laughs> and then you've got, um, you've got portraits as well, these are really nice, they're really cute. See your doggy portraits. Uh, He's a, yeah, the auntie I've got one. Oh, she's got a card. I'm advertising. Advertising, there you are. That's your uh, doggy portraits and pictures. Yeah, there you go. But um, <clears throat> I think I'll probably end up wrapping the vlog now. Because, yeah, I mean, I could go on the scenic again and use a couple more of my tokens, but I'll probably end up keeping the ones I've got for next time we come again. Really nice to see all my mates here as well that used to work at Carter's and they're now working here. It's a great park. I mean, the concerts they do. Um, they're really good. I mean, the fact that they've got like this plastic sheet in the middle to keep it all nice. So obviously got birds nesting in there somewhere. There's big piles of it all over the place. But yeah, they've got um, placebo and Queens of the Stone Age, and yeah, they're all coming here this year. Really good concert venue. And it's really nice. I've really enjoyed it here today. Has Tilly enjoyed it? I think so. She's, she's all dog day. Yeah, there's too much going on for her, I think. I mean, where we live in the middle of the middle of the countryside, and <clears throat> the other dog she really sees is on her work. Or at uh, doggy doggy daycare she goes to twice a week as well. But yeah, really good event. I really hope that the park can um, just allow people to walk in with the dogs. Like I say, it is a free entry park. Um, and it'd be, it'd be nice to see other parks doing the same thing as well. You can see it's still really busy here. We've got another three hours yet. I don't know what's being cooked, but it's a uh, really strong smell. But yeah, really nice event. Uh, get yourselves down here. Not to this, obviously, because it's the last one that, well, it's the only one they're doing. However, I did speak to someone before and they said they might do another one of these in September after dogs are allowed back on the beach again that's pretty much why they've done it today because it's the last day that we can go on the beach uh, here until September it's really weird isn't it it's just odd rules that they have in this country I don't get it I've also got some food here as well but uh, yeah I think I'll end up finishing the vlog now it's been a really good event a big thank you to Dreamland for organizing this and putting this on for dog owners and dog lovers and uh, hopefully they can turn it around and make it a, a dog a, a dog park as well so uh yeah don't forget to do this on the side just there uh, there you go don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye for now
Woof, woof. 